Hi guys. So today I'm gonna to show you how I make my pasta and peas that you guys love. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients because it is so fucking simple. Half of a white onion. Are you zooming in over here, buddy? A can of sweet peas. A can of, I mean a box of pasta shells. A little bit of four se um, seasoned breadcrumbs and some um, Pecco Romano cheese. So first, I pour a little bit of olive oil in the pan, let it get hot, and then I'm gonna chop up my onion. Carlos got a little video of it today. It's so great, that's why. All right, so I'm gonna saute the onions. I'm gonna fill my water for the boiling the pasta. Look how pretty my view is when I'm cooking, guys. That's why I love to cook so much. No, just kidding. All right. I'm gonna let these cook for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna open the can and drain it. Carlo is offered to open the can, but he doesn't wanna be on camera, so we'll just talk to his back. So I just want to mention this one thing because a lot of people ask me this. I do drain the peas. I just hold it down and drain it. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna add the peas. I mean, this is like so simple. The kids will love it. This is Carla's favorite. No, I know you guys noticed this before, but like I'm obsessed with the Himalayan pink salt. I feel like it's just so good for you and it gives such a good flavor. So right now this is all I'm adding is black pepper and the pink sea salt. Now if you were smart, which I wasn't, you would have done this prior to starting all this and it would have been done in perfect time. So when your water starts boiling, I load in the sea salt. Then I add in my shells. However, like I said, do this in the beginning as you start that and it'll be done at the same time. Okay, so as the pasta's cooking, here's something else I do. I take a little bit of the water and add it in. I also add some of the breadcrumbs and let that get nice and like crunchy. And you know me with my cheese, I love it. So I let this just cook just like that. I'm sit around a little bit, but you see how it's getting like nice and crispy, crunchy looking? That's what I like. Okay, so we have like one minute left on the pasta, and this is nice and cooked now. I'm gonna take more of this juice to put on. Because when we pour it over the pasta, you need to, when we pour it over the pasta, we want it to be like nice and wet, so it's not dry. Hey guys. I should have done it the other way. <laughs> I like to scrape the pan because I'm obsessed with the crunchy breadcrumbs. Anyway, look how good this looks. So I'm still going to add a lot more cheese and then the boys like to put crushed red pepper on it but they do that themselves and that's it easy mom life recipes <laughs>